So let's let them open it and see what they think. Okay, there you go. All right, guys, welcome back. So after a couple of years, two or three years, I've had this idea of building a memorial for a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. Um, his son passed away. And I've had this idea in my brain for, like I said, it's coming up on three years now of what I wanted to do. So I've got this pile of parts. I've got lug nuts. I've got spark plugs. I've got timing chains. I've got pistons. And I got this piece of pipe in my hands. What we're going to do is we're going to do some turning, some welding, all sorts of stuff on this. So we're going to get going on this. Okay. Got 10 inch piece of tubing, three quarter inch tubing. I'm going to weld some lug nuts on the end of this. Once I deburr that, I'll weld those on there. And then we're going to take them over to the lathe and turn them down. And then later on in the video, you'll see why we're doing that. So let's get these welded. So we're going to put this in the lathe. I'm going to turn these down. Um, you'll probably still be able to tell that I welded there, which I don't really care. I want this to look rough for what we're doing, but I'm going to throw my safety glasses on. Safety first. Got that all fixed and turned down. That pipe has threads on each end of it. I'm going to set that off to the side for a minute. Now, if you've seen in our other videos, the car show video we did with Jojo, we made some V8 emblems, um, some trophies. I'm gonna hurry and weld up another eight and uh, we'll proceed forward with our memorial. Um, I don't wanna tell you guys what it is yet. You gotta keep watching. We got an eight welded. Let's uh, let's keep going. It's part of being a machinist, right there. Well, it'll have to be like this. Kind of right there. Yeah. Now we've got to cut a slot in the top. We're going to mill this out right here. It's just like that. Slot that out that way. And the reason I marked it was because last time in my last video, I almost cut it the wrong direction. That would have screwed up the trophy. So mark things. Cover your tracks. Let's go get this cut. If I ruin this, we don't have any more pistons. So I've got to be careful. See? That chattering scares me. That's not going to work. Try something different. That in right there. Try to plunge down. Oh yeah, we're right where we want to be now. Once we weld that in there, to be slotted enough, won't even know. I like it. Okay, we'll get back over to the table, get the V bent, set down inside here, keep on going. All right. Got that filled in. I'll get it cleaned up a little bit on the grinder. Uh, flat in the bottom, so it'll sit down on flat on there. And I think we're gonna, I think we're ready to start welding some stuff together here on this. Let's get that welded. I'm going to start my rag on fire again. Almost did, look at that. Maybe they should take shop rags away from me.
All right, now let's make a V8, V8 emblem. Okay, there's a V8 emblem. It's not finished. Remember, we put threads in it. There's a reason for it. You'll see here in a minute. It sits right down inside that piston. Now we just got to get that straight, get that welded in place. And then we're one step closer to uh, getting this thing done. So I didn't plan this, but that kind of sits in an angle. And I almost like it because when you're looking at it from this perspective, and if you're looking at it like, say it's on a shelf or whatever, well, that doesn't, shouldn't happen. If you're looking at it on a shelf, it almost looks good. Lean back. So I've got this valve. Weld it on the gear. Now, that's where that's gonna sit. First, we gotta bend it. Wanna bend the valve. Typically, you don't wanna bend the valve. But with what I'm doing, I wanna bend the valve. So, let's get it heated up, bend it, and I'll show you guys why I'm bending it. All right. Guys, we're back this morning. It got late last night. We didn't want to make a lot of noise in the shop, but let's get back on it. We've got to cut another spark plug down. We've got a few more things we got to weld on. I've got this gear here. It's got the valve that I broke. I'm going to weld that right there and then put our memorial plate on it. But first off, let's get this spark plug cut. that I like it how cool is that way cool looks it looks more complete with the spark plugs in it now doesn't it okay um, moving on let's get this gear welded on all right now we've got the, the tag holder all welded on now we want to give it like a finishing touch with the timing chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this timing chain down. We'll tack weld it, weld it all from the bottom. And then we can hurry and clear coat this thing and get this, this uh, memorial tag mounted onto it right there. And then you guys will see the finished product. And then I'll explain exactly what we're doing with this. So keep watching. I like it. All right. I have one more thing I want to do. I'm not entirely happy with this where I turn this down where it looks chrome finish. I want to discolor that and make it. I like the heat look on steel. I don't want to get too close. You just want to kind of give it a, give it a little bit of discoloration. So. Okay, we're getting down to crunch time. Hopefully this is fast drying. It says it's fast drying, but we'll see. What we're gonna do real quick is just put a clear coat on it so if any moisture ever gets to it or anything like that, um, we'll keep it from rusting. Plus it makes everything pop when you clean it up. We got the aid all cleaned up, got everything all cleaned up, and uh, let's see how it looks spray painted. Okay, clear coat's all dry. We're ready for the tag. I've got this spark plug in. We'll put this last spark plug in. Check that thing out. That thing is so cool. And it's not too heavy. That turned out great. I can't wait to see it with the tag on it. Let's get the tag on it. And uh, then we'll head up and uh, 
meet up with the guy and, and cross our fingers that we can get him on camera because I want you guys to see a reaction to this. So let me hurry and do a real quick um, explanation of what this is. I had a really good friend that passed away. It's been almost three years ago. And I've stayed really close with his family, his dad, his sister, everybody. They're all really good people. They're good friends of mine. And I've been wanting to do this memorial for, well, since he passed away. And I told his dad, I said, keep some of those ashes because he was cremated so that I can build you a memorial. So what this is, is this is a memorial. And the reason why I put these tubes here was so that they could place his ashes inside that tubing right there. So that was the whole purpose, like I told you earlier in the video, of why I was putting those threads in there. And the spark plugs just topped everything off. So let's get the tag put on it, um, make it official, and then we'll head up to their house. And like I said, cross your fingers that he'll get on camera for us. So keep watching. All right, guys, we're here. I'm nervous for some reason. I don't know why. This is, it's it's going to be good stuff. But I've got to go chat with them and see if I can get them to agree to be on camera. So if not, we'll present it to him. It, it should turn out great, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys, he agreed. We're good to go. Let's go give him this present, him and his wife. Okay, guys, we're here. We're going to present this to Kirk and Carol Lee. It's kind of a Father's Day thing, like I said, but it's for both of them. So let's let them open it and see what they think. Okay, there you go. It's not a bomb. It won't blow up. Pull out your pocket knife. I don't have mine on me. I left it sitting on the bench, I think. Ryan's got one. I already stole it from him. Just don't cut yourself. It'll make good footage. Oh! Well, you're not cutting yourself. How do you like my packaging? I should work for Amazon, huh? I packaged it myself, just so you know. That's kind of for you, too. All right, so what that is, check this out. This is an urn. Remember I told you to keep the ashes? This right here unscrews, and that's where you put the ashes. So then you just put the spark plug back in it and I made it to where it's felt. It'll sit on a wood shelf and that's for you guys. Cool. So Thanks, what do you think of that? You've only waited almost three years for that. <laughs> three years ago. Yeah. I told you, I was like, keep some ashes. I'm going to build something. I just had to wait for that idea to pop in my head. And I was like, I built some trophies for a car show. I don't know if you've seen that video. And I was like, hey, this is the perfect opportunity to make like a trophy and it kind of incorporates everything he liked you know you got a timing chain you got gears everything so anyway well i think they like it i think they're happy with it um thank you guys for watching and uh we're gonna chat with these guys for a minute and thanks again